Hey guys, TechMentor here with a video for you guys. In today's video, we're going to show you guys how to set up, activate your iPhone 13 if this is your first time using an iPhone or if you're even a seasoned experienced user. This is going to be slightly different since iPhone 13 has a new software update, which is iOS 15. So let's go ahead and dive into today's video. As you know, the iPhone 13 was released a couple months ago back in September and a lot of people are still getting this device and there's a lot of neat features with it. And today we're going to show you the basic things that you need to know, especially if you're setting up the iPhone 13. So as you can see here, once you unbox it, you're going to get it in this box here. Of course, the charger cable is right there here. So this charger cable is a USB-C cable that you'll need to either get a 18 watt or 20 watt power adapter like this to actually be able to charge. You can also use the existing 5 watt Apple chargers. Those are generally slower, so recommend it to get one of these, which isn't included, which Apple did include it, but they did not. So the other thing you want to notice in the packet that's going to be really important, it's going to be this tool right here that's known as the SIM ejector tool. Now this tool is going to be very handy, and for some reason you don't have this or you don't have a it or threw it away or lost it somehow. You can also use a paper clip or a earring piece as well. Now this SIM tool is going to be important because if your phone doesn't already have a SIM card in and you have to transfer your old SIM, you can take this, take the SIM out of your old phone and then take it and push it right there. You'll see here there's a SIM slot here on the left hand side of the iPhone 13. In the previous generation it used to be on the right hand side. So you want to just simply push it in nice and gently and then pop it out and you'll notice either two things here. You already have a SIM card in there set or there isn't a SIM card. Now if there isn't a SIM card you can simply take this, line it up. As you'll notice here there's a cut corner. You want to make sure that copper piece or the gold piece is facing upwards and you lay it down here. Now this is a little bit tricky so do take your time a little bit and you just want to sit it nice and it's gonna and it's gonna be flush against it and then go ahead and insert it back in. Again, if you have a new SIM card, you might have to call your carrier or the company that you're using to activate that new SIM card. And generally it's best to use a new SIM card because SIM technology also changes things with like 5G coming on, which is the iPhone 13 is capable of. You want to make sure you get an updated SIM so that you get the best connectivity. Now let's go ahead and start the process of setting up your iPhone 13. Now, I setting up iPhone 13 can be quite uh, easy here if you do follow the steps and if you use the Apple device in the past, but if you haven't used it, that's fine as well. First thing to do is power it on simply by holding this side button, which is going to be on your right hand side. Now, this is known as the side button. It does multiple things like power on your device, restart it, and there's other things as well like taking a screenshot. Again, press and hold till you see the Apple logo and let go and then wait till you get this animation. Now we're ready to go ahead and get started. Again, sometimes if it doesn't power on, make sure you charge up the device as if the phone has been in a storage for a long time, it might just simply not have power. So once you get to this step, now we're ready to move on with the setup process. First thing, like with anything, it's going to be selecting your language. Select your language and then of course country and region. And the next thing is you're going to get this menu of Quick Start. Now Quick Start allows you to actually transfer your information over from an existing device running on iOS 11 or later or even iPad. So let's say you had another device that it was capable of, of being able to transfer this information. You can actually start it up. A menu will pop up on both of the phones and you can follow that through. Now that's one way to do it. We'll show you in the process another way to move or transfer your information over. So let's hit that setup manually and now you're going to be presented with an option to choose a Wi-Fi network. Wi-Fi network is generally the best way to set up your iPhone. Now for some reason you're not at a Wi-Fi connection, you can also use cellular data or you can simply connect it to your Mac or PC using the iTunes application which is simply a free application you can download by simply Googling iTunes download and then download it on your computer that Apple provides. So we're going to go ahead and connect to a Wi-Fi here. So simply all we're doing is putting in our demo Wi-Fi password here just so that you guys don't enter the same thing but connect to your home Wi-Fi if you're at home or wherever you are at. Connect it. Once you connect it you're going to get this menu where it says uh, it takes a couple minutes to activate your iPhone. Uh, this 
process is just sending information over to Apple server to ensure the phone is valid and the information on the device matches up on their Apple servers. And once you have done that, it will get you the first of the many messages for data and privacy. You can read through it or learn more about it. Simply going to hit continue. Now, Face ID is the way to do things on your iPhone, such as unlocking it, using Apple Pay to purchase, subscribing to service. It's simply a way to authenticate your identity on the iPhone. Now, to set it up, you're going to hit continue. And once you hit continue, you're going to put your face and then move your face around, just like the animation is doing. Now, you want to keep on doing that until it's clear. Usually, it takes twice the amount of time but it's pretty straightforward now you can always come back to settings and do that if you don't want to do it now so we're just gonna hit set up later again you want to do that the next menu you get is the option to put a passcode again it's very important that you put a passcode because you want your phone and your data and information to be secure in case someone gets hold of your phone so to set it up you have multiple options here you have option to use the default six digit Num numeric code or you can select a four digit or you can do a combination of both whatever your preference is here so if we were to pick one here let's go ahead and pick one for ourselves again make sure you remember the passcode because if you forget your passcode you're gonna have to reset the phone and set up your phone again and that could be really troublesome so make sure you know your passcode code when you set it up. Now once you have done that, the next step you get is apps and data. So app and data is simply moving or transferring your information from existing Apple device that you have. So if you have an iPhone that you're upgrading from, you want to either back up or restore f using your iCloud, which if you're backing up on your other device on iCloud, you can use that method. Now if you back it up to your PC, your old phone, you can connect it there and it will walk you through about transferring things from your Mac or PC. Now if you want to do this method, which if you hold the phone side by side, it will be able to direct transport all of your information over to your phone. Simply this method will require that you have Bluetooth on and both phones are connected together or at least side by side here. You can always is move information from Android. So this is your first time getting an iPhone. There's actually an app that allows you to do that, which you can read through here, which you'll download on your Android phone and put the code in here and it will start the transfer process. Again, not everything will be transferred, but most of the stuff that are compatible will be transferred over. And the last option again you have is simply choosing not to transfer anything over and just starting with a clean slate, which would be that option that we're selecting. Now the next step is going to be key to utilizing iPhone, which is Apple ID. So Apple ID is important to iPhone because it allows you to download application, use iCloud, use the App Store and all the other Apple services like FaceTime, iMessage, Apple Music, Wallet, whatever the Apple service you're subscribing to or utilizing will require that you have Apple ID. Now, Apple ID, you can create one for free or use your existing one. So if you have existing Apple ID, generally that's usually the case whenever someone has an iPhone, they might already have existing Apple ID from a previous device or another device like a MacBook or iPad that you use. You can use the same exact uh, account on the iPhone or simply choose to create a separate one that you would have to manage. So you would have two different ones. So it's up to you, whatever the case is. So for our cases, we're going to go ahead and sign into one of ours here for our demo purposes. So simply in this video, uh, we're going to be entering our, well simply we're just going to go ahead and enter our Apple ID in here so that we can show you guys how the next step would be. And the, you also have the option to reset your Apple ID if you need to. So you're going to enter your ID and password and then hit next here. And once you hit next here, it's going to start signing into it. Either it may, if you don't have Apple 
two-factor on it might ask you for that or simply you can choose not to have that so for our purposes because this is a demo account we simply don't have that you're gonna get this terms and condition next again this is Apple's legal stuff you can read through it and choose to go through it again remember the process of signing into Apple ID you don't have to do that as well you can skip through it or simply not do it so if you do set up you're gonna get this menu here if you exist if you signed up to your existing one you can choose to transfer things over such and settings as well or simply choose not to and then get this menu which is a menu that tells you to keep your phone up to date it will automatically update your iOS settings you can turn this off in the settings but for now you're just gonna hit continue location services so to utilize any of Apple services you're gonna need uh, to use location services that will allow you to do that so either you choose to enable it or disable it all up to you and you want to hit that OK and then next thing you get Apple Pay now if you're utilizing Apple Pay you want to set that up or you can set up later in the settings and then Siri which is a voice assistant for any Apple devices when you hit continue you're going to be prompted with as you can see here a voice that you want so you have Hi, option I'm for Hi, different voices Hi, so Hi, pick I'm one Siri. or you can choose allow that to choose like one to and then hit Yep, as you can see, you can say these commands so that Siri recognizes your voice whenever you do go through it. For our demo purpose, we're just going to skip through this for now. And it also tells you how to activate Siri, which is just pressing that side button, as we mentioned, that we use to power on, but there's multiple purpose for that side button. You can hit continue here. Now, improving Siri dictation, it's just a way to improve. Siri and dictation you can choose to share the recording or simply not to whatever your preference is screen time as you can see the next thing that comes up it's simply a report of how much time you're spending on the iPhone it's something you can get on a weekly basis to get insight into how much time you're spending on the phone this is also a way that you can also enable screen time on a children's device that will allow you to set up parental control in terms of restrictions and much more which is another video that you will have to watch to and understand that so let's just simply hit uh, set up later in the settings all of these settings that you see are generally again able to set up in the settings iPhone analytics basically do you want to send information about Apple's uh, on your phone if there's any issues going on to Apple so they can make Apple products better it's again you're sharing that information with Apple simply you can choose to do it or not Simply we don't and then with any smartphone you have the option to have light versus dark mode and you also have option in the setting to set it up where it's light during the day and dark during the night as well so we're just gonna go with the default now zoom text Apple devices it allows you to have zoom text so that if you do need that extra visibility bigger font and text on your screen you can choose that zoom one we're just gonna go with the standard one and once you have applied all that you're gonna get welcome to iPhone screen and you're gonna simply swipe it upward and you're at the main screen here ready to go if you backed up your device from an existing one all of your photos videos apps should already be here and contacts and you're ready to go you want to check things like your network connectivity if you are seeing no service make sure you call your carrier to verify that the phone was transferred over and your phone number is working on this new device so that's going to be the way to set up an iphone 13 hopefully this video is helpful if this video is helpful please make sure that like and subscribe button thanks for watching see you guys next time